Happy Tuesday, Razor Haters. So welcome to Lit Beard Company, uh, which you can see behind me. I am at my workbench where I fill all the orders, and I'm about to give Project Welcome Home Troops a call and let them know just how much money uh, Razor Haters have been able to raise this year in support of veterans and their families. So check it out. Anthony. Hi, Leslie. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? So far, so good. So, um, obviously, you know the reason for my call. I am I calling. To, yeah, calling to let you know how me and my fellow bearded razor haters have done for Project <laughs> Welcome Home Troops this year. Uh, I'm recording this call so I can share okay. it with the rest of the world, and hopefully, over the course of the next year, be able to raise um, even more for you guys. That's so amazing. That's yeah. Amazing. How'd you guys do? Uh, well, we've done well. Um, so this year, I uh, give a little bit of context, a little bit of background for people that might not know. Um, so we donate a buck to you guys for every sale, uh, every shipment that we make. One dollar goes out, and the most that Lit has ever been able to do on its own um, has been around six thousand dollars. Now, there's been other times where some people have been able to match. Um, in the past, you were even able to help us, um, you know, find donors through Project Welcome Home Troops that have been able to match what we've done um, for you guys. And so I think over the course of three years with matching donations, we've been able to raise about $25,000 for you guys, yeah, which, amazing. yeah. And so this year I was like, well, I want to go big time. I want to do 10,000 orders, um, which I think is massive. Uh, it's obviously, it's a lot of work, right? There's a lot of beard oil. Yeah, there's a lot of beard, there's a lot of beard oil uh, being shipped around the United States in support of Project Welcome Home Troops. Um, so this year, yeah, so this year, dude, um, I'm pumped because I set this goal for 10,000 and I shared that goal with another um, Iraq vet, a guy that I served in Iraq with on my second deployment. His name is Adam Craner. And he owns a business here in Wisconsin called Carbless. They kind of make different um, cocktail beverages, like craft cocktail beverages. And he was like, well, dude, if you can hit 10,000, I'll match it. So every, like literally every day, Leslie, if I was getting tired, if I was getting a little bit worn out, um, I would think, look, not only am I trying to do this, but I've got witnesses, you know, I've got people that are right. watching me. Right. Yeah, so I, um, I was able with all of the help from razor haters around the country all the way up through i just refreshed it before i started calling you so our donation from lit this year is ten thousand one hundred and forty four dollars which is being matched by car bliss so we will be um on the hook if you will for a little over twenty thousand so twenty thousand two hundred and eighty eight bucks um, That's amazing. Well, and I want to let yeah. you know that our supporters, uh, including many veterans among them, know that you guys were doing this, so they've matched that. So we've, we're matching your 20000 with our 20000 Nice! All from small donors, yep. So how, how are you able to do that? Uh, just through networking, people running their own peer-to-peer -peer campaigns, um, previous donors, but a lot of veterans who've gone through the program have stepped up and... Just showing their gratitude for, you know, the relief and help they've received through Project Welcome Home Troops. So it's becoming an all vet show, my friend. Well, that's amazing. So 10144 from us, matched by Car yeah. Bliss. And then that 20000 what is it, 10, what, I, I have a degree in English, Leslie, not a degree in so math. It's 40000 40, total. That's 40 grand. 40000 <laughs> $40,000. So help me understand this for people that'll see yeah. this video. What is $40,000 going to do for vets and their families? $40,000 is enormous. So one thing that's really cool right now is a lot of veterans who have gone through the program are stepping up to become teachers. So one of the big things that we'll be using these funds for is to support them and uh, becoming teachers of this program. We even have one guy who's retired and his his goal is to get a camp in his camper van drive around the country teaching uh the sky resilience training to veterans so um so that's what we're doing we're just building ourselves bigger better stronger through veterans and wow really just bringing vets on board and hopefully 
um, would love to hire a vet full time to have on staff. So that's the direction we're moving in, and that's what this forty thousand dollars will help us do. And all the um, courses are still free for vets and their families, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. So for those of you that don't know, uh, that are watching this, that think it's great that we've been able to raise this, you know, this money and stuff like that. For those of you that don't know, so my relationship with Project Welcome Home Troops started, boy, in like 2012. I took a, um, I was a veteran participant in a study at the University of Wisconsin that was studying the threat stimulus of combat veterans. And they would put me in an MRI tube for like two hours at a time. And they would have me look at a clock and one color of clock, I would not be shocked. The other color of clock, I may be shocked. And when I saw that clock come up on the screen, they would look at how my brain reacted to the perception of a threat. And when that study was done, the next step was to teach me uh, the power breath, right? So it's like a four day course that was taught by John Osborne um, in Madison. And they Project Welcome Home Troops offered this. Like we just want to, we just want to teach you a way to be able to deal with stress, anxiety, all the host of issues that impact veterans and their families when they're just trying to have a happy and healthy reintegration. And so, not only have I felt um, the power of the power breath, but one of my best friends that I walked across the country with, Tom Boss, who Leslie, I know you know. I feel like it completely changed the course of his life. And I have seen so many people and heard so many stories of people that have taken this course and it's completely changed their lives that I am so thrilled that we've been able to offer what we have, not only this year and the last several years, but the generosity of those around that are inspired by what we're doing to match. I, I just think it's fantastic. I do too, and I'm just I'm just so grateful for everyone who steps up and contributes and gets inspired by this program because really I kind of think of it as uh, you know my my small role in this is putting putting vets back in the saddle of their lives, right? Getting yeah. them back to their their best selves so they can go go on and be their badass razor hating selves. You know? <laughs> so, Indeed. So. Um, I have one vet, she's on the teacher training track and she's, she's been helping, uh, raise funds for uh, this time around. And, you know, she said, she's, she's like, I've been in therapy. She was a, a army counterintelligence, Iraq, Afghanistan. And, and she said, you know, I've been, I was in therapy for 17 years and with great therapists, she's like, but you guys did more for me in five days than 17 years of therapy. So that's the, the impact this has, we're going beyond the level of the mind deep down into the into the roots of stressors and trauma that the body holds and the breath becomes that vehicle to release it and that's the cool thing it's not like you're sitting in talk therapy you're taking a handful of pills it's your own breath right under your nose that is that is a recipe for opening that door and letting some sunshine in yeah i remember one of the cooler um statements that was made as we were going through so um john and emma were the teachers that i had when i went through the course okay. the first time and I remember John was talking about the power of the breath and how overlooked it is. And he said something, and I'm going to kind of not do justice to his quote, <laughs> but it was something to the effect of like, you know, when you're born, you take your first breath and everybody cries. And when you're dying, you take your last breath and everybody cries. And in the middle is your life. And people don't really think about their breath, just the first and the last, but how powerful how powerful uh, this tool is and being able to harness the power of your breath and recognize how it draws your emotions out, but how your emotions draw it out and how much control you can bring back to your life by learning this skill is something that I'm so grateful that my friends, uh, you know, my business partners, every customer has been able to contribute. I just think that it's a beautiful story and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this with you guys. So grateful to you, Anthony, and to beard company and to adam at carbless and yeah. all of the, everyone listening you know come check it out come check out our program as, as anthony said it's free of cost to veterans and immediate family over 18 so we'd love to have you on a workshop if you don't feel like you need it pay it forward share it with a friend make a make a contribution but uh keep buying beard oil <laughs> <laughs> indeed grow beards <laughs> buy beard oil just remember we're not we're not responsible for any unplanned pregnancies for uh, the use of <laughs> Lit Beard Company. So, Leslie, this has been wonderful. Every year I look forward to this call. Um, 
you know, it can be in the sweaty days of July and I'm thinking about Giving Tuesday. It can be in the frozen days of like January and February in Wisconsin and I'm already thinking about the end of November and the goals that we're setting. So this is wonderful. Um, I can't Amazing. wait. I can't wait. I mean, now the clock restarts, right? Like people said, oh, you do this all the way through. I do it Giving Tuesday to Giving Tuesday. I think that recognizing what we're able to contribute on this day matters. And so I'm going to do everything I can between now and Giving Tuesday of 2024 to make what we've been able to do this year that much bigger. Um, so I need to, like I said, I have a degree in English, not a degree in math, but I'm going to have to look at some spreadsheets and stuff like that and see what I can do. But I'm going to do everything I can to make it bigger and better for next year. That's incredible, Anthony. I just, I love your heart. I love your, your diligence and uh, commitment. It's amazing. So thank you. Thank you so much. Dude, you're welcome. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to talk to you again. I will get Adam in touch with you guys so he can get his contribution over to you. Um, but I will get the Lit Beard Company ten thousand one hundred and forty-four bucks uh, transferred over to you guys ASAP. Dude, Leslie, thank awesome. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anthony. Thank yeah. You. Please Thank don't, you. please don't stop what you're doing and I'll keep uh, doing what I can until I just can't do it anymore. And I don't, and I don't foresee a day when I ever uh, start pumping the brakes. I'm all gas. So I'll do everything awesome. I can. Awesome. Thank you for everything, Anthony. You guys are amazing. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a great night, Leslie. Thanks. You too. Bye. Oh, bye. Well, how fucking awesome is that? That was not something that I was expecting. I knew that we were gonna be able to offer what we offered and I knew that my friend Adam was going to be able to offer what he uh, promised to match what I could do. I did not know that um, behind the scenes, Project Welcome Home Troops was doing what they could to match whatever we could bring to the table today. $40,000 is no small amount. Uh, for every person who has contributed, for every person who has shared uh, Lit Beard Company, for every person who has left a review and told people, listen, you want to grow a beard and you want to do something good while you're doing it, you need to be buying product from Lit Beard Company. It's outstanding product. They have an outstanding mission. I legitimately cannot believe what has occurred over the last, uh, uh, the last 12 minutes. Um, it matters a lot. It matters a lot. When you choose to support Lit, when you choose to support veteran owned, when you choose to support businesses that have a mission beyond themselves. Um, I don't really know what to say. I can't believe it. Somebody with the gift of gab like I do being left speechless. All I know is that I need to get back to work. Thank you all so much for all of your support. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm Anthony. This is Lit Beard Company. Your Wisconsin-based, veteran-owned, wax dip beard oil. As always, stay bearded. Fuck razors.